So here we have worth waiting for and wedding. And this is the energy I am feeling where I saw that this person misses an empress. Um, and I feel like it's because they actually saw a life with you. Um, again, it could go vice versa, you guys, but finance and career. So maybe um, something was affected with this person in their financial life. And maybe, again, their ego, um, you know, th they focus on stability. So if they had issues, you're, this is where they're going to disappear and, you know, prioritize their 3D life. Or this could just be finance career that this person just really was, is... Um, again very into the 3d life where it's the material things that's what i'm trying to say i'm sorry guys um it's the material things that gives them value and self-worth and so for them it's it was like this energy of well whatever um i've, I've got this i've got that but in reality it's all um it's all to hide it's um it's just their way of really like I said, superficial, shallow, my goodness, shallow, shallow aspects of themselves that really isn't um, fulfilling them. They're not fulfilled. So let's see what else we have for this energy for Leos, please. fortune positive movement forward i think there's a turning point here with this person yep they've been suffering in silence that's that regret you know they they really they they knew that they didn't invest and they didn't work on this connection you know this positive movement forward is the eight of pentacles they didn't give me they didn't put the effort that needed to be put and here we have the death card again this is the purging so um it, this feels like an energy um, or a connection that makes people transform. And I know as much as we don't see, we don't look at connections like that. But here on my channel, you guys should know, I do a lot of soul growth. And my whole purpose is soul growth. You know, I think people tend to, you know, other tarot readers to serve and have different services. But here, this is about soul growth. And so the soul, um, when we connect with certain humans and other souls and usually what they hold are signatures of lessons too so we learn lessons with this person and so this person learned a lesson with you for sure and there this is this is putting them in the space of needing to really change their own life because it's 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 They've been living a shallow life for a long time. It's just how the universe works. It's just how spirit works. It's just how God works. So whatever you connect with or align yourself with, okay? So give me more on this Wheel of Fortune here. Okay, more on this Wheel of Fortune. Which way am I putting this? Is... Oh, wow. Okay. I'm going to pull that out. I know I felt that. So Page of Wands, Nine of Swords, Ace of Cups. And the eight of pentacles we have the eight of pentacles here so yeah this person has to work on their self-love this is what's triggering them nine of swords and page of wands you know they were fooling around they really weren't um i really feel this is i'm picking up that codependency where their shallow ways kept them extremely small and surfaced so they didn't really expand themselves in terms of um giving of themselves and they realize that with this ace of cups that they, they didn't put any effort and there's so much regret with the nine of swords of keep, keeping things so surfaced and at this point i feel yep queen of pentacles you guys could be dealing with um uh taurus virgo capricorn but this person you know regrets not giving into this you know queen of pentacles wow king of pentacles not committing they really saw it as a couple like you're you were you were their counterpart um you were someone they can see a marriage with right so we're we're talking about i'm gonna put this here because i honestly do feel that they really you were you were you would be it if they were to, to do anything and get married yep two of wands you would be it so um 
Oh, it just came out. Ten of Cups, the Hangman, Six of Swords, and the Five of Cups. There's so much regret of not taking this from like not making these moves, not having this commitment with you, this life with you. So give me more of this Eight of Pentacles. Not putting the effort. More of this Eight of Pentacles. Positive movement forward. The Fool. So they need to take this leap. And there goes that Ego and Ten of Wands. They know. And this is you too, right? So this leap is something I think they, in their mind, it can happen. They should have jumped in. And I also feel they, they're feeling they should have jumped in with this Ten of Wands. It's just so much regret. So much regret here. Giving one suffering in silence. Four of Pentacles, yeah. And honestly, I think this is their stubbornness also of coming forward. So again, strong ego, right? Strength card. The ego will probably still hold them back. They were in the suffering and silence. Wow, six of wands and the high priestess. You know, they still feel spiritually connected to you. Um, and I feel like with the six of wands, it's almost like... They quietly hope for the best, but at the same time are too egotistical to come forward with this Four of Pentacles because they, they, they're they very much about hold, holding on to their own, their old ways, their ways. And, you know, we're having Four of Pentacles, so the stability, remember we're talking about stability. This is where their shallow aspects are. So their ego, you know, again, the comfort of the surface things, right? This page of wands energy, the comfort of the surface things, um, they intuitively, intuitively know it's not going to really make them happy, which is why they're suffering. So it's, it's, they're causing their own suffering. And this person needs to persevere. Six of wands kind of needs to persevere this entrapment that they're in. And it's really self-inflicted. So this death energy feels like why this needs to be put in motion. And I think this is really what's happening to this connection. Um, wow, the world. Yeah, to really, really change things and turn things around for them. Right? The world. This is to really end a cycle. So this person has to end this cycle. Um, you guys may reconnect because the fact that this is coming up, I think this person's hopeful to reconnect with you at some point. Three more on this death card. Three more on the death. Yeah, they think about it a lot. Three more on the death. This is something they meditate on, they think about, but yet, King of Swords. Airs, very defensive. Again, the ego, very detached. So it's going to be a while before the cycle kind of um, moves forward for them. I also feel that this person, ooh. I also feel like this person just thinks this is over. So there might not be an opportunity here. You know, they sit and think about it too much. So again, I feel very self-inflicted because all they do is think about it. There's, the ego is so big in this energy that all they do is think about it. But at the same time, they're healing and there are things that are resurfacing. So Scorpio season so far, um, I'm realizing Leo, that the energy of the Scorpio season has been really strong in all the reads and death has been really important. The Scorpio energy has been really important. And it is almost every last year. I remember when I started my channel, the season was also very pivotal for a lot of people. So Scorpio season really tends to mirror things back to us in terms of how we show up for ourselves and what we actually want out of life it's such a test testing point and you know this is this this stage we tend to like really either we change things or we, we will repeat a cycle and you have the fool you know they have the fool in the world 
So this is a cycle that needs to really come to an end for a new cycle to begin for them to really like, they need to just drop the ego, drop the burdens. It's not serving them, right? Because they need to work on things to really take, you know, change themselves, change their lives, positive movement forward to move forward. And um, this world, I mean, spirit wants to, with the death and the world, spirit wants to show them that with how they feel. And the way the universe speaks to us is always through our emotional body, always through our emotional body. So let's see what the guidance is for you, Leo. What is the guidance and message for Leos? <sighs> wow, Ten of Swords. And then you've got the Two of Swords in the bottom. So Leo, Four of Cups, Ten of Swords. Obviously unsatisfied, right? This is not the most happiest energy. You know, this is mentally tough because it's almost like things could have worked out. There's disappointment. There's huge disappointment here that this person didn't value the connection. There's also disappointment in the time and energy put into the emotions to this connection. But I feel like with this Two of Swords, you know, Page of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, wow, there's still hope for the connection. But it's almost like you feel like things are not resolved yet. So it's almost like a conversation still needs to be had. So you know what? There may definitely be because we have divine timing here. Um, may there I, I do feel maybe not all of you but some of you I feel with this divine timing that there's another stage of the healing for for this connection and it could be a positive one or it could be a negative one but um I think right now this person's just seeing who they are and and seeing things for themselves but are still very much in that ego energy unfortunately so let's see what the blockages are for this connection yeah exactly you know right now there's a pause the pause is because of the evolution you are no longer that person so this person needs to evolve there is an evolution taking place for this energy um let's see what the untold message of the heart of this person what is the untold message of the heart of this person Ooh. in the very near future so again timing card here so this is not done this is not done because this person definitely is undergoing the death energy transformation. So for a lot of you, this 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 reconnection will happen in, in the near future. All right, let's see what else we've got. Gesture. Yeah, I'm going to come sweep you away. I mean, like I said, they value you. You know, you guys, they see you as their counterpart. They see you, they see you as their counterpart right queen of pentacles king of pentacles so and the the suit of the pentacles is long term so here thoughts i've been in my head about you constantly yeah you have not left their thoughts at all and then yes letter i will i will be writing you a message so eventually you know they will they will you know message you and you will hear from them so this is not over um, Leo, this is not over. All right, so what else we have? If only I had the courage to tell you how much I still love you. The ego. We're talking about courage, the strength card. Again, the, the resistance still exists in this person. This is a lot about the ego death. Um, and just this person learning in a very tough love way from the universe through the emotional body. That's just what it feels like. The more I push you away, yeah, the more I long for you. I know in my heart that we belong together. That comes, it's not, it's just gonna trigger them. We else, this is going to trigger someone for sure. So let's see what the guidance is for you. What is the guidance? Learning, yep, time to reflect on your life lessons. That's what I've been saying. You know, this is this really shows us a lot. You know, the universe has a way of showing us our soul journey. And so the relationships are a big part of that journey and our life and our lessons. So what you have been through is coming to perspective. New ways of looking at things are now being shown. And that's that's why there is so much about timing here, because 
Um, it just feels like there. It definitely feels like there's new things that are just being learned. Um, this this as difficult as this connection may have been um, for some of you, for sure. There has there are things that that these energies and these relationships relationships show us about ourselves as well. So that kind of illuminate and bring to light that maybe another energy would never have brought it out, right? If we weren't challenged in those ways. So again, it's part of the growth. So let's pull one more for you, Leos. Yeah, connections. And cosmic connections are the souls that help us develop and can change the course of our path. I mean, again, cosmic cosmic connections are the souls that help us develop and can change the course of our path and that's 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 exactly what this is this is not done because the 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 change of the, the souls are still changing the path and and you both are kind are part of this this shift so um leo um this is your read uh i love you leo please like share subscribe